Welcome back and thank you for joining us. I'm Jessica Barbier, your host for the Cox OC Connection. Next, we'll be talking about KX 93.5 and their upcoming Festival of Music. Joining us today to share about all the details is Tyler Russell, the program manager at KX 93.5, and Robin Runagi, the executive director of School Power, which is one of the benefiting charities of this event. Welcome and thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Jess. Hi. Thank so you. Tyler, last year was a huge success. I want to know what the secret sauce is and how you're going to top it this year. Yeah, I mean, last year we uh, we were happy to welcome 1,300 people to the Festival of the Arts grounds mm -hmm. um, in Laguna, which we were saying all last year in the promotion that it was pretty historic because mm -hmm. there hadn't been a show there in quite some time. And we were able to top ourselves this year by moving the show from the grounds uh, and adding what's called Irvine Bowl, where mm -hmm. Pageant of the Masters is done every summer, which really has not been used for a major concert in more than 10 years. Um, and the last show there was uh, Jack Johnson about 10 years ago at the Moonshine Festival. So us bringing the Beach Boys to Laguna uh, is not only historic for the fact that the Beach Boys are coming, but also that, that we get to use this venue to raise money for charity. You never fail to impress me. Thank you. And I know you like to break barriers and you like to do what is, no, it can't be done. I was looking over your notes and I was like, 10 years, there hasn't been a concert. Beach Boys have never been to Laguna Beach, which is super surprising because you think the beach. So congratulations on that. Thanks. Um, what else can our viewers at home expect when they come to your great event? Yeah, well this year we have the benefit of kind of having two spaces mm -hmm. for it. So uh, the Arts Grounds where you walk into where Festival of the Arts is every, every summer. Uh, the Arts Grounds is gonna have several food trucks, um, a sponsor village with activities. There's a roped off VIP area, which is a separate ticket. We're showing snippets of the 1972 to surf film Five Summer Stories, okay. uh, which included Beach Boys songs and was a collaboration with Brian Wilson. So uh, people in the grounds can see some of that movie to get the vibe as they walk in. Um, and then Irvine Bowl, which is just, you know, one of the most majestic in the canyon venues that we have in Orange County, a highly underutilized place is where uh, the Beach Boys will play with two other groups, with uh, 133 and with Say Say. Um, and so it kind of combines our, our generational alt rock mantra that we have at the station into, into one big show. And Robin, can you tell us a little bit about School Power and your partnership with KX93.5? Yeah, we are the oldest Orange County Education Foundation. We were founded in 1981, and we raise money for all four Laguna Beach public schools. And we've um, started in the last couple years um, a really fantastic relationship with KX93.5. Our goals are really aligned because both of us are really all about bringing the community together and increasing the connection in the community. And so we're all about bringing the community together to support the schools. And how did your partnership come for that? Because this is the first time School Power has been part of the music festival, correct? That's right. So we were lucky enough to be selected by K KX93.5 as one of the four uh, beneficiaries for the event. So actually the schools will benefit from people going and attending this amazing concert and enjoying the Beach Boys. That's perfect, and what's better than going and having a fun night and knowing that you're supporting some great organizations? Speaking of which, what are the other charities that will benefit from this concert? Uh, the others are Surfrider Foundation, Tony Hawk Foundation, and Maliola Foundation, in addition to our nonprofit radio station. And tell us a little bit about that, because I think that the general public doesn't realize that KX93.5 is a nonprofit 501c3. Yeah, our, our mission statement is to provide this um, open door resource for a struggling artist, uh, a band that really can't quite make it, uh, a local nonprofit, a local charity, a local cause that needs a voice and doesn't really have a, an unpaid way to get their message out there. So we're non-discriminatory in the types of people that we allow to come on the radio and, and um, promote their good cause or their music. We play a lot of local music um, and there really isn't any other resource in Orange County to do that outside of the big corporate radio stations. So we really are kind of the, the every man's mom and pop grassroots radio station that's trying to showcase um, these causes and musicians that wouldn't otherwise have the chance. Tell me a little bit about the history of KX93.5. How long has it been on air? How did you think of the idea? I, I'm so intrigued by this. Yeah, we were only about two years old. We started in October of 2012. Um, and and it, it was my personal kind of uh, discomfort with what corporate radio has become. Mm -hmm. um, it's very the same 40 songs, the same DJs in every market, and people are kind of disenchanted with it. Um, and I just had the stroke of luck and, and, and fortune to find a, an available frequency in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And we moved it to a studio on the beach and knew that Laguna was such an artistic, creative community that would welcome something like this. And uh, we are the only FM signal that comes in clearly in the canyon. 
uh, you lose all the LA and San Diego stations as soon as you drop down. So we've really, I, I think, made an impact on Laguna and people have really welcomed um, us helping to create this music scene. And I think the concert is a great example because before us, there wasn't anything like that happening. And, and we're trying to revitalize that, not only for our station, but just for the town. Yeah, what inspired you to do this festival? It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna do a concert at the park. You've gone over and beyond, and you've got things accomplished that haven't been done for years in Laguna Beach. Yeah, I mean, we are kind of an odd, unique nonprofit, an uncommon nonprofit in a town that has almost 300 of them. Mm -hmm. So we try to make our fundraisers fairly creative as well. And um, we have to raise money just like any other nonprofit, but we wanted to do it in a way um, that was very much us, which for us is combining this um, alternative rock scene. The band that's opening is called Say Say. They're an electronic duo. The next band is 133, which is kind of a super group of local Laguna musicians. And then something as legendary as the Beach Boys is really what we try to do. We combine these generations of music into our playlist, and we're trying to reflect that on stage at the concert. So fun. So total of three bands will be? Three bands, okay. yeah. So and give us all the logistic details. We know that it's at the Irvine Bowl, the time, the date, what to wear, what to bring. Sure, um, it's September 27th, the doors are at 5.30. Okay. Um, that's when the VIP reception starts as well, if you buy the $175 VIP ticket, okay. um, which includes free food and drink. Um, for everybody else, you can just come in and enjoy the arts grounds at that time. Tickets start at $45, okay. and they go up to those 175 VIP dollar, uh, tickets with an option for a, a meet and greet with the Beach Boys as well, oh, where wow. you get to hang out with Mike Love, uh, take a photo, ask them questions. You get to go to their sound check. Um, you get to enjoy the Club Kokomo cocktail with Mike Love. Oh, so fine. all of all of that's on our website, kx93.5.com, um, and that's where you can find tickets and attend. Wonderful, and will all the charities be there if the viewers at home would like to meet with the charities and hear what they're doing? Yeah, everybody will have a booth, and Rob and I imagine you're amenable to people saying hello. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> great, and um, the website once again for our viewers at home? KX935.com. Okay, great, well I look forward to seeing you there, and congratulations on planning another successful event, and Robin, thanks for all that you do for our students at um, School Power with Laguna Beach. I appreciate it. And for our viewers at home, thank you so much for joining us. From all of us at Cox OC Connection, I'm Jessica Barbier. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. For more information on our local programming, visit cox3.com. And to learn about our community initiatives, visit cox-cares.org. Thank you. Get ready for the Beach Boys. KX 93.5 FM presents its second annual Festival of Music at Irvine Bowl Festival of the Arts in Laguna Beach, benefiting the nonprofit station and other participating charities. The Beach Boys, live in concert. Tickets are on sale at KX935.com, including options for a VIP reception and a meet and greet. Powered by Tuttle Click Automotive, Wilson Automotive, and 133 Film Music Group. September 27th, 7 p.m., Irvine Bowl. KX93.5.com.